the video. Yeah, I reckon we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. How many times have you been outside today? little tripod that auto balances pretty cool uh also a bit gay because it looks like i've got a selfie stick but it's just for the content content that i don't make um don't really know how to do an intro uh because i'm way out of the game for this so we're just going to start off with a physique update i am 99.5 kg bit chubby not lean at all so don't judge 21 years old six foot six one in shoes potentially six two depending if they're vans or not i, I wear vans every day um so yeah comment tell me what you think of the video and uh and i'll make sure to reply to no one pulled my sleeve up so i could play like this the whole time and then i'd look really big um but yeah it's what it is you know Right, good day. Um, I've spent the last five minutes trying to find an angle because ideally I want to get a bit of my arm and also get my face in. But if I go any higher, I don't get my arm. And if I go any lower, I don't get my face. So this is the angle we're going to have to put up with. It is Thursday, so I have one client check-in today. I usually split them up. Uh, Saturdays I have four, Sundays I have four, and then I have like three midweek. Uh, due to COVID-12, uh, there's a lot of people who I was coaching who have kind of gone on pause, which is far from ideal, because ideally I'd like to be training at least 25 people like I was almost before um, COVID-12. But it is what it is. You know, we've got to put up with it. So I'm just going to walk you over what a check-in would be like. Like, I don't know if this is going to be enjoyable, but it's my video. Don't have to watch. Click off it. Click off it. Right, so... Step one would be I look over the check-in sheet. So the check-in sheet has a bunch of different things. It has weigh-in, time away, and lifestyle factors. Pretty much everything you need. Cravings, appetite. How you trained? Did you train well? Did you train poor? Uh, also, additional notes. Did you go off plan this week? Did you go and eat fucking ten thousand calories? It goes over everything like that. So we have then the training info that I set for the geezers. So pull A, push A, lower A, pull B, push B, lower B, rest. Um, this is a guy called Jordan. Uh, he's currently in a diet phase. So I've got him training five to six times per week. Just depends on what he's uh, what he's about for that week. Mainly because home workouts not the best food training log this was before coronavirus all the exercises sets and everything there and then we have the nutrition log which is all his food measurements and stuff like that so pretty much i look at his weight i look at a load of different factors that we monitor and then if his weight has plateaued we'll make changes a process like this especially when a guy's lost didn't tell you this lost 13 kg in six and a half weeks we don't really want to be increasing anything else we've already got him on twelve and a half thousand steps which is a fair fucking load of steps so <laughs> Yo, yo, so pre-workout, what do I take? What do I recommend? Um, so we are going for two pre-workouts today. We are going for a bit of Komodo pump. Uh, this is a basically just a blood flow enhancer. Gives you a nasty pump, makes your shirt a little bit tighter. In which, large t-shirt, believe it or not. I'm usually an XL. A scoop of this with one whole scoop and half scoop of the GOAT MV Pre. Stim, so if you take this late at night, you're probably gonna be up all night on like Pornhub or something like <laughs> can't relate at all right we are joined by the beautiful outdoors for upper a what does the workout entail we will explain in the voiceover coming now hey guys okay asmr bit of the video done uh if you want any more go to my only fans um link Link not available. So I have 30 seconds now to explain my whole workout plan, which is not going to be easy. So it's a push-pull legs, rest, upper, lower. Mainly focused around compounds of the equipment that we've got available. Equipment we've got available, you ask. As you can see here, a barbell, 7-foot barbell, 185 kg of weight, an adjustable bench, and a pull-up bar. As you can see, the pull-up bar is actually here in the video right now. Top right, not top bins, but top right. So through the power of iMovie, I managed to increase the duration that I could talk about my training because I feel like this is probably quite an important bit for some of you guys. Um, so some of the weights that I've been lifting in today's session, the incline bench was 127 for a set of five, um, 127 kg that is. I've been flat benching like 135, probably 140 in the next few sessions. So my 
pushing's been really and then for the pulls i've been deficit deadlifting uh due to the load that we've got available just because i'm in a way too strong for what we've got uh the bent over row variant today that we did i managed to get 160 for a good set of seven so by far the strongest i've ever been and in turn as you can see by that lower back fat probably the fattest i've been as well now this is where it gets interesting were you thinking jesus christ i'm in a science lesson is that the surface of the moon or is that reese fitz delt the post post workout of yours truly. This entails a little bit of sweet potato for some sick carbs, some basmati rice because it's the only rice available right now in the local Tesco. And also a chicken breast, which equates to about 46 grams of protein, which makes sure that you hit your maximum leucine so you get your maximum protein synthesis spike, people, very important. So this is what people don't show you, the physique update. So as you can see guys, you know, waist staying very, very sharp. Um, definitely wasn't breathing out or trying to make myself look poor. So I want to do one of those gay, you know, where like you snap and then your top comes off. Has anyone got TikTok? Because I swear my age group think it's the weirdest thing ever, myself included. But you get like a bunch of like 27, 28 year olds who are like, TikTok pros and they're doing like gym TikToks and it's like it's just a bit weird like is it just me because like for example my own mom has downloaded TikTok and she's in her 40s and it's just it's just very strange I don't know why people are doing it Same. right so first thing that we put in was some basmati rice as you can see see some beautifully cooked chicken with some Nando's Perry salt because Minerals are important, guys. And finally, some uh, sweet potatoes. These are made into the fry variant. Therefore, an extra 400 calories just because they've got fries in. I'm losing it here. So, this is the meal off plan. Off plan? Off the plan. Like I said, post, post workout this is. Um, so, yeah, it has a lot of carbs. Has a little bit of fat, not a lot. And it also has a fair bit of protein realized no outro so outro getting done now i'm gonna take a seat i'm gonna take a seat i invite you to take a seat we've got another 30 seconds in this video i look pretty cool short hair it's a bit of a vibe so tell me what you want to see in the next few videos i already have a few ideas i'm going to talk over my training this video wasn't really about training so i'm going to be showing you a few more workouts more detailed and what i'm doing to still progress so how you guys can still progress on minimal equipment um shameless plug coming in if you do want some coaching over the corona period reese fit on insta uh that's r-e-e-c-e -E -E, no space f-i-t reese fit again just in case you didn't hear um and that's pretty much it video done subscribe hit like hit comment you can't hit comment comment whatever you want so hopefully I've made your eight minutes or whatnot a little bit better. So we will see you on the next video.